<laughs> Hi, welcome to my video. This doesn't look weird at all. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and on this channel. It's about being happy and kind of healthy. And my husband sometimes makes appearances. We needed to go grocery shopping, so I thought I would take you along with some of my very favorites uh, that I get at Whole Foods. I always forget my reusable shopping bags. Today, I brought them, so bonus points for me. I do try to stay on the outside as much as I can of a grocery store, so produce and, and meats, and I try to get the best possible meat cut side and really minimize the package process stuff. But when we do buy the package process stuff, we make it good. So um, yeah, let's dig in. One of my Whole Foods favorites is raw apple cider vinegar. There is an amazing brand, um, the Bragg's brand that everybody knows, and it's with the mother, which is like this stuff at the bottom right here. But this is just as good, and it's actually much cheaper at Whole Foods. There is a perception they call like Whole Foods whole paycheck. They do often have really great sales and um, their 365 brand is awesome. We always get these nut and rice crackers. They're super yummy and they're gluten free and we are trying to reduce some gluten in this piece. My daughter's favorite snack, are you ready? Sardines. They have wild caught yummy sardines at Whole Foods that are so delicious. What's the word? Deboned? De, de, bo, de bo. Boned, where they take the bones out? Cause that, that's the stuff that has all the yummy calcium. So get like the whole like wild sardines. Okay, I'll be honest. These are like special treats in our house, but these chocolate chip cookies are the best. And what I love, what I look for in the ingredients, typically I try to look for things that are under five ingredients. But if it's longer, I wanna be able to pronounce everything and you can pronounce and you know everything that's on these lists. So these are like a fun, sweet treat. I go to the bulk food section to get, you know, nuts and seeds and things. Um, hemp hearts are awesome in smoothies and on salad. They add some protein and fiber. So just like a tablespoon in a, in a smoothie or on um, a salad adds like a really yummy taste. They're my fave. I thought about, um, five pounds of pumpkin seeds by accident. Oh. <laughs> I do love pumpkin seeds. Um, these are great on salads or just as a snack. I do the organic air chilled Whole Foods brand chicken thighs. These were on sale today. These were never fed animal byproducts, no added hormones, no antibiotics. And I love a good chicken thigh. I think it's so much tastier than a chicken breast. This is my cheat. This is 100% organic beef burgers. They are grass fed. You can get uh, organic grass fed beef, um, ground beef, and it's cheaper, honestly, if you make your own burgers. But on Fridays, I do like a burger bowl and I'll post a recipe for that soon too. And let me tell you, Fridays, I have zero energy to sit there and get my hands all goopy. Um, and this is grass-fed beef and that's the only ingredient. I also look for some yummy, the Whole Foods brand organic maple sa sausage. There's um, no nitrates, um, there's no antibiotics. And we do these sometimes like with peppers and onions or like with breakfast. I have to say I've cooked them before and the kids have taken them as a snack. I cheat and I get the peeled garlic. I hear you that it's cheaper to buy it like as a bulb. It's not that much more expensive to get it peeled and it saves me about four minutes and like years of my like sanity because I hate peeling and the garlic. So peeled garlic. Red lentil pasta. We strive for meatless Mondays and I have this really yummy red lentil garlic sauce uh, pasta that our kids love. This has some good plant-based protein and fiber um, and they love it so it kind of checks the boxes for me. Coconut aminos. I make this like Asian pork rice bowl. Instead of soy sauce, I use coconut aminos. It has a lot less sodium than soy sauce. I can't taste the difference. Penn says, uh, like if you're just dipping sushi, he can taste it, but in a dish, I think it cooks great. And it's also organic, gluten-free, and a lot of soy sauces have gluten in them. Like, why? I don't know. This is my favorite um, salad dressing brand. It's Tessame's, and it's the most simple ingredients ever. And it's just, you know, some oil, 
um, lemon and just, but this green goddess is amazing. Here's the, uh, the Tessame's creamy ranch that the kids like. I can get them to eat almost any vegetable if there's ranch on it. I get a good old 365 cauliflower pizza cut crust. Do not tell my kids because we like, they will make a pizza. Like at some point during the week, we put a tomato sauce and cheese and I'll sneak some arugula on there and they don't know it's not a normal pizza crust. We are not totally gluten-free at all and they definitely have regular pizza, but if I could like sneak in the smallest amount of nutrition. Pasture raised eggs. Even compared to cage-free eggs, they taste so much better. These chickens have been like in the sunshine and out in the fresh air, which is like, but cage free, they're still kind of confined. So that's just like my personal thing. That, that's why we choose a uh, pasture race. We get, uh, for taco night, we do the sprouted corn tortilla. They're certified organic. They're made by Food for Life, but they are in the frozen section. There is no corn meal or corn flour in this. I don't have a problem with corn meal or corn flour, but I just know, again, as I'm like trying to supercharge the nutrition in our house, I take every little opportunity and these are delicious. I do ground, ground pork. This is for like this, my Asian like rice bowl and I use cauliflower rice, super yummy. And this is Penn's favorite almond milk. So most of them have the carrageenan um, and I've just read a lot of stuff about that, so I'm trying to stay away from it. And the barista blends that they have have sugar in them, which is why they cream up. Busted. I'm sure everybody was really worried. I'm so sorry. Okay, I did not go into a lot of the vegetables I bought because I do a lot of the vegetables from our local farmer's market, which is amazing. Um, so maybe I'll do like a farmer's market haul next time. Um, but thanks for watching. Are there any products here that you know and love or hate? You know what I mean? Um, or what are your favorites from your grocery store? What do you get from Costco? I need to learn what to get from Costco. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, please.